ancient elves and their fall from grace and the mad elven king and whatnot. But I'm thinking you just want to know how this little gem plays, right? Right. The overall goal of Demio is to get to the nethermost catacombs, confront the bloated baddie there, and release the trapped spirits of the undead elves. Then the realm will be saved, and there will be much rejoicing. Along the way, you'll have to fight through several dusky floors of the elven necropolis. On each floor, there's a monster holding a key. You'll need that key to open the floor exit and proceed to the next floor below. And there'll be plenty of other monsters to fight along the way. They come in all sizes, from tiny scab rats with pointy yellow teeth to big bumbling trolls with mm, less pointy teeth. And of course, there's the undead elves and, uh, well, you get the picture. To fight all these fiends, you have four different champions to choose from. The Guardian, Guardian ready. is your righteous tank. She can soak up a lot of damage and is deadly in melee. The Assassin, Death is my profession, is a sneaky backstabbing bastard and also good with traps and bombs. The Sorcerer I stand prepared. is of the lightning bolt flinging type who can also use his spells for crowd management. The Hunter. I'm ready. Well, she hunts, using bow and arrow, but she can also call on beasts from the wild for aid and charm monsters amongst other things. You can play Demio in two ways. Either gang up with a few friends, two to four of you together for a nail-biting co-op run. Or go it alone in skirmish mode, where you'll control three champions. It is time! Planning your path through a floor and working together is a must if you hope to survive all the way to the end. The game is turn-based, which means all champions take a turn, spending action points to move, attack, open doors, and so on. You have two action points to spend each turn, and then the enemies do their thing. Attacks and card outcomes are resolved with a die roll. You'll either hit, do a crit, Crit means critical hit. And if you miss, your attack might hit something else nearby. Oh! Spells, special attacks, and other items are all represented by cards. There are several. We've got potions that will heal you up or make you faster or stronger. There's a banish spell that'll teleport an enemy to a random spot. A barricade that you can use to create bottlenecks or even block off rooms. A repeating ballista. It'll shoot bolts into the monsters every turn until destroyed. A magic shield that'll halve all incoming damage. And much, much more. You'll start with a few cards on hand. You can find more in chests spread out across the floors. Or earn them by defeating enemies and increasing your card meter. Mm, there's also gold for you to gather. I'll be here to greet you in between each floor. My bazaar comes fully stocked. And at bargain prices too. I'm happy to buy any card you don't want at a reasonable price. Due to some wondrous wizardry, the monsters loot entry and exit points, and even the order of the many different floors is randomized. Every run is a fresh experience. It's up to you to coordinate with your friends on how to beat each floor, or at least survive it. Reaching the final boss isn't easy, and it's not meant to be. Beating that stinking abomination will earn you plenty of bragging rights. Until someone else does it faster, that is. So, get your friends together, choose your champions, dive in, and above all, have 
Fun.